morning everyone today i am going to be filming a what i eat in a day um so i haven't uploaded in ages i've just been so um i haven't had any ideas to be honest and i don't want to film something which i don't feel proud of so today i'm going to be doing a what i eat in a day and if you didn't know which you probably don't actually i have gone vegetarian i have been vegetarian for the last week i know that doesn't sound a lot but for me that is a lot because I in my household we eat a lot of meat so I've had to adapt to a lot of different things so to say this video might be I don't know it might help you if you're also trying to go vegetarian um I also put a poll on my Instagram saying if you wanted to bake with me or a white in a day and the what I eat in a day won by a fair bit but the bake me also got a lot of um votes so if you want to see that please let me know because I'll definitely do a bake with me but I'm also going to be cooking this evening so I'll try and include quite a few bits of that clip but yeah, I'm going to start off with my breakfast. Obviously breakfast, I if you've watched my other what I eat in a days or like my Instagram controls my life, I have a vegetarian breakfast anyway and I think a lot of people do. But I'm just going to be having cereal with a coffee and I've like started the TikTok coffee trend but instead of it being iced, I put the milk in the microwave but I'm sure you all know how to make the TikTok coffee so I probably won't be showing you that. If not, I'm sure if you go on TikTok it'll come up because everyone's been doing it. But yeah, um, I will get, make my breakfast and get back to you when I know what I'm going to have. <laughs> Sorry about the kettle, you probably can't hear me so I'm going to talk really loud. But I thought I'd just show you how I make the coffee, just like measurements. So I do, this makes two coffees, so just half it, so this is for half. Um, one teaspoon of coffee, I know I've seen lots of people doing tablespoons, but I just think that's so much. So one teaspoon of um, coffee, like granulated coffee, I use this one, Nescafe Gold Blend. One teaspoon, give yeah, I'm half a person. One teaspoon of sugar and then a dessert spoon of water and then whisk that and then pour that into milk, either cold or hot milk. But yeah, it makes a really good coffee. Loving, but it just looks so satisfying, but then we sort of mix it because otherwise it's um, separated. But I'm just gonna film it because it's really satisfying. It's so frothy. I use coconut milk, which I think might help. But I really recommend getting one of those frother things. I think you can get them off Amazon. I don't think they're very much, but my mum's had that for years. But they're just so good. And honestly, this makes the best coffee in the world. I really, really recommend you making it. So I completely forgot to show my lunch, but I had a scrambled egg and cheese wrap, which Chris thinks is weird, but it's really good. And I had that with some salt and vinegar crisps and a yogurt. Um, but look what's just come in the post. Um, the big bag of pick and mix. Chris got this. Um, and you, I don't know if you see what it's Kelly Jodies, but they got them. And we ordered them before they gave the discount code, which is a little bit annoying. But look how huge it is. And I can't even have it because Chris ordered this when I wasn't vegetarian. So back then it was fine. But they do do a vegetarian version, which I might order. Because I'm a little bit jealous. I'm not going to lie. I'm just picking out the bits which I know are vegetarian. Because obviously I'm not sure which is and which isn't. But it looks really good. And I'm going to start cooking in a bit. Which I'll make sure I show you. I'm making a like a sweet potato satay curry. It looks really nice. But I don't think Chris is going to like it. And he's going to have to eat it. But oh well. But yeah. I am going to make that in a minute. And I will show you everything in it. And I will link down below the recipe I'm going to use. In case you want to follow along at home. Or... Yeah, try it yourself. So I'm now in the kitchen, as you can tell, and it is about quarter to two, and I thought I haven't got really anything to do today, so I might as well make my curry now, and I think I'm previously mentioned, but I am making the sweet potato satay curry from BBC Good Food. Like, I feel BBC Good Food always do such good recipes, and there's literally everything you could ever want on there, so I'm gonna be using that. And I'll just show you what's in it, so you will need Smooth peanut butter, red Thai curry paste. I've got all of my ingredients from Tesco's, but I'm sure you can get them from any supermarket. Some coconut oil, coconut milk, sweet potato. I've got too much sweet potato, but we don't, doesn't really matter. Baby spinach, two cloves of garlic, an onion, um, juice of a lime, and it says fresh ginger, but I only have ground ginger, so I'm going to have to make do of that. But yeah, if you want, I think I mentioned this as well, but I'll be leaving the recipe down below. So if you want to follow along with me as I do it, you can. But yeah, I'm dreading chopping this onion because honestly, that's like my worst nightmare. But anyway, I've got to push through that. But yeah, I'm going to start making my curry and I hope it's going to be good. It seems to be quite nice. But yeah. Okay, so everything is now in. If you're like me and you're really not very strong, I really recommend getting someone else to cut the sweet potato for you. I found that so hard on my arms. 
but yeah sorry about the black bits i burn the onions i'm just so bad at cooking like but everything's in i'm just waiting for it to bring to the boil and then i have to cook for 30 minutes but it smells nice it's got a lot of coconut in which i love but yeah i'm happy with how it's going so far so I think. i've just taken my it's more like a broth like and that's not really my thing but i've tasted it, it actually tastes really good i've got the front camera on so you can't really see but there it is gonna let that it's only like quarter three now so i'm just gonna heat that up again for tea and i also have made flapjacks and i put as i mentioned earlier i put a poll up whether you'd like to see a warrior in a day or um bake with me so i'm probably gonna do this bake with me another day so i'm not gonna explain to you how i made it but my flapjacks are currently in the oven and they'll come out in a minute but yeah i really enjoy baking but i just, i really did not enjoy that i found it so stressful like all the timings and stuff but i hope it tastes good Smells nice. Just very runny. Just made an iced coffee. Yeah, really. Sorry, you probably hear Chris blabbering on in the background. But I've got a um, sugar-free caramel ice latte, which is really good. I've already got the hang up iced coffees. So if you want like a um, how I make my iced coffees video, and I'll give you like all the different recipes because I can do like, like just normal iced coffees or like um, syrup iced coffees or mochas. Might be boring, but I really think I could open my own coffee shop with these coffees because they're so good. I don't want to take my own hole or anything, but even better than the TikTok coffee because I tried that and it was mm -hmm. so strong and it took forever to mix, but this, these mix so quickly and they're so much better. And I've just spent over 30 seconds, perhaps 40 seconds, but I'm going about coffee. I think I've had too much. I haven't actually filmed all day. Like, I, I didn't show you my dinner. I haven't shown you my snacks. I'm actually awful. But the dinner was honestly amazing. It, one of my favourites I've ever made. And definitely one I'll have again. So I'll leave, make sure I leave that below. And this evening I've just had some cookies which my boyfriend's dad made and I had some sweets but I made sure I picked out the vegetarian ones because as I said I'm vegetarian but yeah I'm gonna end this video here it's probably a very short one so I do hope you did enjoy what you did see but if you did enjoy give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and I'll see you all in my new video bye